Jersey. Jersey, New Jersey, you're from New Jersey.
known as the BRW. So BRW actually runs on the Morris and Essex line of New Jersey Transit. This wetlands area is 
uh, dependent on the ocean tides, as is the Connecticut River as far north as Hartford. Right now it's uh, pretty much at high tide, from what I can see. But if you're looking out the windows, just keep your eyes out for birds, uh, not only in the wetlands down on the ground, but also up in the air and the trees are across. You'll see two osprey platforms straight across from our train right now. You'll see those platforms out there with the nests on top. Those nests are rebuilt every year as the eagles will come by and scavenge the uh, nest. Eagles' nests stay uh, from year to year. The osprey nests are scavenged by eagles and other birds and taken away from the osprey when they come back to the area and have to rebuild every year. We are now in the town of Deep River and uh, pretty soon you're going to be coming by one of the first of the number of marinas you're going to see in our area. You're going to notice there's a lot of marinas on our trip today and I'll tell you a little bit why that is. you'll see a, a grouping of uh, three telephone poles or piers that are put together you'll see an osprey nest on top. Uh, we have the uh, privilege every year of being able to uh, watch uh, the osprey build their nest and have their babies and the mothers kicking the babies out of the nest to uh, learn how to fly.
the birds on the little uh, boardwalk out there are cormorants. They're birds that have no oil in their wings, which allows them to be able to dive into the water to get fish. And they have to stand on that boardwalk, if you will, to uh, dry their wings out. This is the area on the Connecticut River where we do see a lot of eagles, so do keep your eyes open. And we'll have one more place a little farther up where we're going to actually stop, where we have a very large eagle nest that can be seen in the wintertime. And this is our Becky Thatcher, who's out for three trips, or four trips today. Uh, one hour trips up and down the Connecticut River. Uh, the steam train comes and drops people off for the trip up the river. through the rock cut here at Deep River. We're going to get a view of the Connecticut River. If you look up, up river at the 2 o'clock position, on the opposite shore on the hillside, you're going to get your first glimpse of Gillette's Castle. We'll get some closer views coming up, but Gillette's Castle was built in the early 1900s by William Gillette. No relation to the razor blade company. But Mr. Gillette was a Shakespearean actor that made famous the role of Sherlock Holmes on Broadway having performed it over a thousand times. Mr. Uh, Gillette was quite the eccentric gentleman, and uh, his castle, which is now part of the Connecticut State Park system, uh, is a in very interesting place to go touring through when uh, you get a chance. Uh, you might want to consider doing that. Uh, he has in his castle a, um, it's actually just a stone home that looks like a castle, uh, built it for his wife, who died tragically. But uh, in there he had uh, wooden hand-carved doors, no two alike. He had uh, pieces of furniture that were built into the walls that if you press a button would pop out uh, for use. He had mirrors that uh, would allow him to stand in his master bedroom and see who was standing at his front door long before the time we had ring. And he also had a miniature railroad where he could tour his guests around as many acres of property. The Connecticut River flows from the 4th Connecticut Lake in northern New Hampshire, 410 miles south to Long Island Sound and Old Saybrook. It forms most, but not all, the boundary between New Hampshire and Vermont. It bisects Massachusetts and Connecticut. It's a very shallow river, so that's why you see a lot of marinas. It's shallow, so never made it as a commercial waterway. So it really has been used mostly for pleasure craft. As I mentioned, it's affected by the ocean tides as far north as Hartford, rising and falling with the ocean tides. And the water in this area is brackish, a mixture of fresh and salt water.
from the Teamsters. The Teamsters back in the day were people who used horses to move their wagons. And when they came to this particular uh, waterway, it was deep in that the sides were very steep.
And I've never did that since March. Never did it since March. Right? And I'm sitting there like, you should have right, right, opened the gym. That's how the government should have opened the gym up as soon as it could. I think so too. I'm sure it's good. You know, it's just sick. It's all sick. Absolutely sick. Yeah, what are you going to do? Just sad. Sad for the time. You guys didn't get a music player. And hopefully, the vaccine will be out by the end of the year. Cross your fingers, please. I have a lot, a lot of high doubts that's going to happen. Uh, we didn't go up as far as the right? We did. Oh, we did? Well, we're going to go a little bit. I think we're going to go up a little bit more. We're done. Exactly. At our next railroad crossing, our... Our diesel engineer Tom, I've asked him to slow down at the next crossing so you can take pictures if you want out the right hand side of the train. Look straight out when we get to the middle of the crossing if you want to take a picture of Gillette's Castle. It's going to be a nice close view. We'll have a straight on shot at uh, Gillette's Castle. Wait till you get right to the middle of the crossing at the middle of the road and straight out from the train on the right hand side, Gillette's Castle. It's like the Hudson River Valley, actually. It's the same thing. But the Connecticut River Valley reminds me of the um, Hudson River Valley, actually, in New York State.
nowhere to where you are. Things are nowhere to Or go to the post office or somewhere. than the state of New Jersey. You know that, Mom? I must say, these marinas are all nicer all than the Jersey Shore ones. I have to say, Connecticut has one of the nicest marinas. Is it called again? Yapa. What is it? Yapa. across the railroad tracks to the east and down straight into the Connecticut River. 
Parker's Point was named after Mr. Parker, a farmer who lived in the Hadline section of of uh, Lyme. He was a farmer who had as a hobby the making of home brew. Now this is many years ago in the uh, early 1900s and Mr. Parker was a member of the Grange, the Grange being the organization that uh, encompassed uh, farming. And uh, one night, Mr. Parker got in his Model A uh, pickup truck with a case of his of bottles of his home brew, came across the Hadline Ferry, uh, right by Gillette's Castle, and came across to Haddam to go to the Grange meeting. After the Grange meeting, he had been talking with his fellow farmers about his wonderful home brew, and they shared it in the parking lot out back, and they became happy. Well, Mr. Parker uh, got back in his truck. It was, a, it was very dark at this point. It became very foggy, and it, he went out on the Middlesex Turnpike and went up to Middlesex Turnpike and turned onto the road that he thought went down to the Adline Ferry to go back home. But unfortunately, in his happy state of being dark and foggy, Mr. Parker turned down the wrong road, the road which eventually became known as Parker's Point Road. Mr. Parker, uh, Mr. Parker came down the road, over the railroad tracks, down the hill, toward the river, onto what he thought was the Hadline Ferry waiting for him. But it wasn't, and he went straight into the river, never to be heard from again. Look to the right, you'll see Parker, Parker's Point Road as it goes down into the river. The locals here say that on a cold, dark autumn night, if you look out into the Connecticut River in this area, you'll see a pair of headlights circling around the bottom of the Connecticut River. Mr. Parker looking to go home. Parker's Point Road.
gonna say, some of the houses here are very nice. Nice colonial thing. Are they all colonial? location on the railroad. We're going to stop here for a minute. It's uh, called Broadway. It gives us a sweeping broad view of the Connecticut River. Our engineer Tom is going to get us right into position a little more.
in the Gus Nas restaurant, which is right behind it. As we come into over Route 82, where the swing bridge is, and into the Goodspeed Station proper, you're going to notice a set of uh, rail bikes on your right hand side on the siding. Back in early May, when uh, with uh, COVID-19, we realized we could not operate our steam train and river boat as well as our dinner train. And uh, we had already planned to do some rail bike adventures to the north uh, on unused rail that we had here uh, uh, near the state park up north. But uh, with us not being able to run, we started running the rail bikes down here uh, out of the good speed station during the day and during the week. And it has become very popular. We have one hour and two hour trips that run out of good speed station and uh, it's a great way to be outside to see nature and enjoy the, uh, the view um, and it's able to socially distant distance each from each other and uh, we uh, clean the bikes after every trip and sanitize everything and so it's a great time uh, if you go to the website for the railroad sxteamtrain.com you can sign up for those uh, being on the railroad it uh, the hills are not uh, that, that, that heavy. Uh, it's a uh, fairly moderate exercise, not too bad. Next stop will be Good Speed Station.
in with the gratuity at all. Uh, yes, there are gratuities are added on. Uh, we do would really love for you to give us your comments as far as uh, how we can do this a little better. Constructive criticism is always accepted, and your uh, your comments of things that you like. That's great too. And you can put that along with uh, your gratuity and your gratuity envelope and give it to your server. That would be fantastic. Thank you very much.
Not really awesome. I want to go out there anyways. All right. Just don't touch anything. I won't. I won't touch anything. I promise you. Beautiful view out here. Oh, yeah. Nice temperature, too. Yeah. At least it's not hot, hot, you know what I mean? No, it's not hot at all. Yeah. Compared nice. to the last weekend, though. Yeah. I'll tell you that. Torrington around that area? Exactly, yep. Okay. Use of the dogs here? In general, I'm always been kind of outdoors. Yeah. Me? Nah. We'll go away now. Yeah. We'll go away now eventually. Come on, Peter. 
Journalist, your conductor speaking. We have about uh, two to three more minutes before we're in, back at Essex Station, and uh, just want to take a minute to uh, have you look around your tables, make sure you have all your personal belongings, uh, your cell phones. You can turn them back on if you turn them off. Don't forget to turn them on. We don't want you to be incommunicado. Uh, I'm going to ask you to stay seated in your in your seats uh, until I tell you it's okay to get off the train. We're going to be 
coming into the station, I want to make sure we're in the right spot. So in case we have to move a little bit, uh, I don't want you getting hurt. So remain seated. And I uh, want to tell you it's okay. And you can get off the train the same spots that you uh, get on the train. Uh, make sure you take everything with you. Ladies, don't leave your husbands behind. Uh, we have plenty of labor here. We don't need any more. So take them with you. Um, we do have a lot of stuff that happens here at the railroad, even with uh, uh, COVID happening, we still have stuff going on. So please uh, check our, uh, our website. We have everything from the rail bikes I mentioned before to, uh, we have Friday night cruises. We have everything from uh, 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 paradise, uh, paradise cruises. We have um, sunset cruises. We have all kinds of stuff that's going on. Uh, obviously the dinner train and the fall will be some uh, foliage trains and our Christmas uh, train, North Pole Express. Do look at the website um, to get the up-to-date information on that as we try to uh, keep ourselves rolling in a safe manner. Um, if you want to have a brochure, look at the uh, right near the end of the train, uh, end of the car, I should say. As you get off, you'll see a red brochure. You can take that or just go to sxteamtrain.com. The restrooms at the station are open. Uh, if you want to use those before you get back on the road, uh, feel free to do that. Um, they've been all cleaned since you left um, to uh, keep us all safe. Uh, to get to the bathrooms, it, it's there at the uh, back side of the station. Uh, go there and then uh, we wish that you have a wonderful uh, rest of your weekend. Uh, safe trip home and uh, on behalf of the kitchen crew, the servers and us on the operating crew want to say thank you for coming with us. Uh, do come see us again. Next stop will be Essex Station.
Thank you. 